Welcome to the Allison Palmer studio. We're getting ready for our next firing. There's a lot that we have to do to prepare for this. Wood has to be gathered and cut. The wadding needs to be prepared to keep the work from sticking to the kiln shelf. The cone packs need to be made. They give us critical information about the temperature in the kiln. The work has been made, bisque fired, glazed, wadded, and is now ready for loading. This kiln takes about a day to load, holding anywhere between 100 to 200 pieces, depending on the size of the work. As you can see, the kiln holds both sculpture and functional pieces. Everything gets puzzled in with a great deal of thought given to the placement of the wear. The pieces are placed to maximize the effects from the flame and fly ash. Every firing the door gets bricked up. We have to remember to place spy holes in front of the cone packs. During the firing, we'll pull the spy hole bricks out and read the cones to check on the temperature. The mud is a mixture of sand and fire clay, which is applied to the bricks in order to seal the cracks. This prevents the cold air from rushing in and cracking the pots. After the kiln is loaded and before the firing begins, there is some time to mix glazes and make the cone packs for the next firing. Now the fun begins. We've built a community of sculptors and potters who have come for years to fire with us. Our family grows through workshops and word of mouth. People really look forward to coming to the firings. There are dear friends, good food, stories shared, hard work, and special memories made. The person that calls the stokes guides the rhythm of the kiln. When we stoke, the flame shoots from the blowholes. When it recedes, it's time to stoke again. The firing is over, the kiln reached temperature, and all of the mouse holes, stoke holes, and cracks are mudded up.